The Marvel Cinematic Universe is getting a little smaller as thousands of theaters around the world decline to screen its recent movies. Here's why countries around the world are apparently banning the series' new movies and what it might mean for the future of the MCU. Thor Love and Thunder is finally here, and the film's early box office numbers indicate that it's going to be another financial success story for Marvel and Disney. According to the numbers, Taika Waititi's follow-up to Thor Ragnarok gave the God of Thunder's solo franchise its biggest opening to date, having made over $300 million after its first weekend in theaters. That's a lot of dough for the Space Viking. This is despite the fact that Thor Love and Thunder has divided critics and fans alike. While some people enjoy the humorous take on the Thor mythos, others feel like the movie is too jokey for its own good. However, mixed reviews could be the least of the film's concerns as it continues to roll out in theaters worldwide. While Thor Love and Thunder is shaping up to be an international super hit, the movie looks set to be banned in certain regions that have been profitable for Hollywood blockbusters in recent years. If the movie does indeed face the chopping block in these regions, it will mark yet another Disney release to be banned for the same reason in 2022. Let's bring the rainbow. Bring the rainbow, is that a catchphrase or something? Thor Love and Thunder is the latest Disney release to feature brief moments of LGBTQ representation, which could prevent the movie from being granted a release in China and other territories. The latest Marvel release implies that Valkyrie is bisexual, with her mentioning she had a girlfriend back in the day. It also reveals that Korg is effectively gay, being a part of a species that only has one gender. Industry experts believe that these aspects will be enough to stop the movie from being released in certain regions. Taika Waititi and Natalie Portman have also been selling celebrating the LGBTQ aspects of Thor Love and Thunder, with the pair having recently described the movie as, quote, so gay and, quote, super gay at a Q&A and screening. However, they were subsequently criticized by Marvel fans as scenes involving positive LGBTQ representation in the movie are actually few and far between, which is unfortunate considering the film is reported to have originally included a significant romantic scene involving Valkyrie that was cut, presumably to appease censors. It's an unfortunate happenstance, especially seeing as how Valkyrie was supposed to have her sexuality play a more prominent role in Thor Ragnarok, but that ended up getting cut as well. If the situation follows the same trajectory as Lightyear, which includes a same-gender kissing scene, Thor Love and Thunder could also be banned in territories such as the Middle East, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Reportedly, the Disney Pixar release is currently banned in 14 countries. Flick. Okay, we should go. Thor Love and Thunder isn't the first Marvel film to have an issue getting released in other countries, and if current trajectories are any indication, it certainly won't be the last. Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been faced with bans around the globe, particularly when it came to the release of Eternals. That film faced bans in Kuwait, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia due to the inclusion of a same-sex relationship. In that movie, Fastos is married to a man named Ben, and the two share a kiss. Homosexuality is banned through much of the region, and movies depicting LGBTQ relationships tend to get banned. That was the case with the most recent Marvel flick before Thor 4, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. That film was banned in the same countries, seemingly due to America Chavez's parents being in a lesbian relationship. Additionally, those movies, as well as Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, were banned in China for various reasons. It remains to be seen if the next movie in the MCU, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, will make its way to China's shores, but things aren't looking hopeful. Despite that, these movies seem to still be making plenty of money no matter what. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.